Well, as the investigation continues, law enforcement agencies are now pushing those affected to get resources. And Case Area 3's Maricela Dela Cruz spoke to the Sacramento County District Attorney's Office about the center they had set up today uh, to help people with the shooting. It's still open, too, Maricela. Yes, Goldson. Well, many people have been showing up today here to downtown Sacramento at the scene of this shooting. And this is why several organizations have stepped up to provide some assistance to anybody who might have been affected by this shooting. That's being handled again, as you mentioned, by the Sacramento County District Attorney's Office at Cal Expo, where they set up a family assistance center. As many pay their respects to the six killed in Sunday's downtown shooting, the hardest part is to reach out for help. The Sacramento County District Attorney's Office is offering resources at their Family Resource Center, a first of its kind for the agency. We really focus on the emotional support and the crisis intervention right now, but we will be providing every available resources that each individual family needs. The center has been established for anyone impacted, whether you're a witness, a family member, a friend, or a victim yourself. This is a difficult process and you might not know how you feel. You might not think you're affected by trauma, um, but trauma sneaks up on, on different individuals in different ways. And so um, there's different things to look out for, uh, things like a lack of concentration, um, trouble with eating, eating too much, uh, trouble sleeping. It's really sad. We don't know how to feel sometimes. A resource that Tamika Young, like the thing, sister you know, of one of the men killed them. Sunday morning, says she might use. It. I probably will need them one day, one day in my life, because I don't know how I'll feel after here, maybe even like a week later. You know, I don't know how I'll feel. And these services vary from psychological to spiritual support, victim compensation and other financial resources as families start preparing those funeral arrangements. Live in downtown Sacramento, Maricela de la Cruz, KCRA 3 News. Maricela, thank you. Now the Family Assistance Center will be closing tomorrow at 5 o'clock, but there are still some resources that are out there for families following the shooting. So here are a couple of phone numbers here on your screen. The Victim Witness Program within the DA's office, the Law Enforcement Chaplaincy in Sacramento. Also, the American Red Cross is available.